Uh, uh, you are live. All right, cool. All right. All right, everybody. I'm Jacob from uh, Jacked Up Leatherworks, and these two guys over here, you all know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got one, so I'll just toot toot. There you go. <laughs> all right. Uh, like I said, I'm Jacob from Jacob uh, Jacked Up Leatherworks. Um, I do custom leatherworks for just about anybody and everything in between. Um, we're going to be carving and tooling a hammerhead shark. Nice. So, and the artwork actually comes from my daughter, um, just because she's an exceptional artist and she actually drew it out on paper and it, I just transferred it over. So, um, I guess the first thing is, is I guess your introduction to leather, if anybody doesn't know, I know, uh, Joey's going to be doing something on leather too. So, um, but don't pay attention to the mess behind. We just got back from Maine. <laughs> um, these are just some of your basic leather tools. Um, you got all your 3d stamps and everything else, miscellaneous. And of course, some of your bigger tools. Oh, let's get back here. I only have one camera, so. <laughs> but there's that. <clears throat> so I guess we'll go ahead and start getting right into it as soon as I can figure out where the hell this thing goes. Y'all see that okay? Yeah, mm. that's, that's good, man. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right. So. <laughs> oh, well, I guess if I'm a carve, I better have it on the other side figures right yeah it happens to the best of us a problem <laughs> so yeah well jim the shop is actually in my uh side room off of the living room so <laughs> there we go. so all right first thing after you get your your pattern on, on onto your leather you wet it and you got to have it wet before you do any carving and you just spray it with water I just use a spray bottle, but once you got it returned to its normal color, after you spray it, you just take your swivel knife and you're just going to follow your lines. And this is what I'm using is eight, eight to nine ounce Herman Oak leather. And it's actually one of the premier leather tanneries that's, uh, still open in the United States. So they use uh, exclusively American cattle that are raised here, slaughtered here, and everything in between. So it's, if you guys, because I, I got a lot of customers that are, you know, if it's not American, I don't want it or anything like that. So um, that and it just tools a whole lot better than a lot of other leathers that are out there. Nice. So it doesn't come from Oak Island then. Huh? <laughs> it doesn't come from Oak <laughs> Island then. <laughs> no, it doesn't come from Oak Island. <clears throat> Sometimes I don't know what he says and I just giggle. <laughs> so he feels like he did something. <laughs> before I uh, before I read out and let you know who's that in the chat, can we get some flex arms for Jacob? He's just passed 100 subscribers. So well done, Jacob. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Actually, thank you. That's the first time I flexed all day, man. I don't know. <laughs> must, have, must have forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 100 subscribers is a big deal. If people are wanting to start a first big channel, milestone, it is a big deal. Um, I don't know how long it took Jamie. It took me 11 months to get a, my first first 100 subscribers, so it's a big deal. It took, me a, it took me a little while, yeah. <clears throat> Seems yeah. pretty e seems pretty easy now, but it's not. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, if it wasn't oh. for Joe, I wouldn't even have this set up. <laughs> Joey can be good people sometimes. He's all right. He's all right. <laughs> He's all right. Speaking of Joey, Joey is actually up next. We'll provide you with a link afterwards. Uh or not afterwards, towards the end of the show. But it's also down in the description. Um, 
if you uh, if you need it, which is still blade wood works. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to scroll up a little bit and let you know that in the chat. Yep. We have we have uh, Mr. Mark L. We have hey. Wayne Woodturner. Go on, Jake. <laughs> Mint. Mint. <laughs> we have Kezandor Phil from Spirit and Bear. We have Jim Spaulding. We have Weave Weave Owl Tackle Turnings. We have Mr. John McDonald. We have Michael McEwen. We have Jenny Jen Jen. Um, hey Jen. We have Joey from Still Red Woodworks. Oh, we have Andrew from AGK Woodworks. We have Barney Barney. Um we have Anita Curler. Um, let's keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. We're gonna teach. We're gonna teach uh, Jacob a code word real quick. You ready? Yeah. We say, "Hey, I know uh, what it is. Jacob. I know what it is." <clears throat> hey, Jacob. Uh, you got any ketchup in there? That means uh, stop eating your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> it's a code word. Code word, man. <laughs> there you go. Go <laughs> on, go on, Jamie. Yeah. 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 You might, you might end up taking delivery of some ketchup uh, sachets like Wayne did. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. We've got uh, C. Bayless in. Um, we have Charles C. in. We have C.J. Hernandez in. Um, let's keep going. We have Carl Jacobson in. Clive. Uh, speaking of ketchup, is Mr. Wayne Woodturner again. Champion. Champion, man. <laughs> let's keep going. We have I Want to Make Stuff is in. Uh, let's keep going. We have Mr. Michael McEwen there. Uh, we have Jackie Thompson's in. Thank you, by hey, the way, Jackie. How you doing, Jackie? Thank you, by the way, Jackie. She's brought me some chicken. She did good. We have uh, Heidi from Whitehall Pottery is in. It was on earlier on. Scott, the blue light turner, uh, who was also on earlier, as was Wayne as well. Uh, we have Jay Wiz, happy music. Um, Joey's there saying mustard. <laughs> uh, Scott says, is this blurry for anyone else? Uh, nobody, not for us, <clears throat> it's not. Nope. No, it seems all right here, mate. It's looking good. Uh, we have John Holiday here. Hello. We have CJ's Hobbies. He says, I'm still awake here. Me too. Me too. Mm -hmm. Us too. I was awake at 6 a.m. my time. Boo-hoo. <laughs> Boo-hoo. <laughs> uh, let's keep going. I think I'm at the bottom now, so if I missed anybody, I apologize. I need a curler. <laughs> I need a color. <laughs> yep. Wayne Hillman, a.k.a. The Pen Crafter, says, question, 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 question. What gauge is the leather? What gauge is it? Uh, well, here in the States, we use it by ounces, and this is an eight to nine ounce. So it's probably, I think, a 2.5 or a 3 millimeter. I'll say it for you, Jake. What the hell's a millimeter? <laughs> what the hell's a millimeter, Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> when it says, eat your eyes, Scott, it must have been that wasp. When you guys... It stung by me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> it's you not very one. good to you laugh when you're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Charles C's laughing out there. Yeah, Stay hydrated. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you got plenty John of coffee Holiday on. John Holiday says 10 millimeter is the best and only millimeter. <laughs> right. <laughs> Dang that 10 millimeter. <laughs> <laughs> I got a drawer full of them in my toolbox. <laughs> it's 
That's where it went missing. I've been looking for that for ages. <laughs> How did you get it? <laughs> they congregate into my toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> So if anyone does have any questions for uh, Jacob, just prefix it with question, question, and we'll uh, we'll get it answered. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, all right. So I got everything carved, except for the damn corners I was going to start doing. So. Uh, AGK says it's a good thick, a good size thick of leather, JP. Real thick. Uh, so and the- we have... Go on. Sorry. Is there just a, a razor when you push down on that, there's a razor sticking out of the very tip of it, or how's that working out? No, this is actually ceramic. Just a ceramic blade, and they come pretty sharpened, and basically all we do is strop them with a jeweler's rouge, and it basically just cleans it off, makes the surface real smooth, and you get those nice deep cuts just from doing it. How deep? How do you um, take them? Really? <laughs> there we go. There you go. He's getting there. <laughs> I think we've found the voiceover man for that particular uh, meme now. We got a virtual hug, virtual hug from Jenny Jen Jen, and she says, What is the name of the tool you're using? This is a swivel knife. A swivel knife. Hmm. It's like a crutch for your finger. There oh, you go. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, and they're they're fully adjustable, so you can make them you know as tall as short as you want. And they've got in Leathercraft. These are the only places that you'll actually see these tools is in Leathercraft because they're specifically made for us. But I mean, they've got different blades to where you could do border work with them. They got it's just all kinds of blades for them. Nice. So uh, we have Franco's leather is in. It says howdy. Hello. Hey, Frank. Uh, I'm not sure if I said it earlier, but Shane Hurst is in. What's up, Shane? And uh, George hey. Kubik is in. He says uh, Victor George says hi. Hey, what's going on, Victor? Hmm. He's actually one of the guys I interviewed uh, not too long ago. Oh, okay. So. All right. Uh, Adam, I love what turning's in. Hello there. Anita had her. Anita had her question there. Anita says, uh, "What got you interested in leather work, and how long have you been doing leather work?" Um, started when I was real young. Um, when I first started, then I got out of it because I decided to uh, become a rodeo clown. So, and oh. yeah. Then I got busted up and uh, started welding after that and picked back up about five years ago. I've been doing it ever since. So, uh, Adam, I love wood turnings in. Um, I know, I, I've, got, I've got questions. What's that? What's a, rode- what's a rodeo clown? It's like you at a rodeo. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> It, oh, bro, sorry, we just basically just uh <laughs> when the bull riders would come out of the chute on, on top of the bull the yeah. guys that are on the ground in the big clown outfits we'd always make sure if the rider got off we'd protect the rider oh so yeah so you uh, um distract the even the bull yeah okay so, I'll you. yeah so all right let's see i never understood why they always use because uh, aren't bulls bl- uh, colorblind um there's a lot of people that actually believe that i personally don't um because everybody that whole additive about you know bulls hating the color red it's not really the color that attracts them it's actually the the movement movement is what attracts them yeah so that's why if if you look at the rodeo clowns outfits are all baggy and got handkerchiefs and everything else coming off of them and it just makes more movement for them mm, yeah. uh, you were the uh, only one Jimmy. agk was like you beat him to it <laughs> he was gonna ask uh, <laughs> uh, charles c says how's the wallets coming along oh uh oh geez 
I'm actually doing a wallet for a couple other guys that are on YouTube and they're doing a, one guy's doing this 20,000 subscriber giveaway. And the other one was 1500, which he, uh, passed up on his birthday. So, um, one of the prizes is one of my wallets that I'm building and oh, I got them over on my other desk. So I'll grab them here in a minute and show you guys. Um, all right, first thing that I was going to do is going to be doing the border because a lot of people struggle doing the borders. And the way I was taught is I'm going to switch the camera spot because I hold it with my left hand and I'd be blocking it if I did it this way. So hang on for a ride. Wee! <laughs> I, I need a color. Kind of got me issue in hashtag search bar. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> so, all right. So for when you're doing a border stamp, you know, they've got different types of the stamps and everything. Well, you can't really sell it. It's pretty damn small, but you got different stamps. I've got an ungodly amount over there. So usually what I'll do is when you do it, I like to start right there on, on the corners. And what that basically does when you start it off in a corner like that, if you're off just a little bit, because if you're off a little bit on, on your side, or if you start on one side and work your way that way, what you're doing is if it comes up and it's not even, you're either going to hang off over here or you're going to be short right there. So if you stamp your, your two edges or your corners on each of them, you could actually adjust it as you go in, as you're coming into the middle and you could actually move it back and forth or squinch it up in the, in the middle more. Um, we've, we found that, uh, with customers, they actually, uh, a lot of people will actually pay attention to corners. So if you hide it in the center time, in the center part, they're not really going to, not really going to see it. Um, dying gold is in. Hello there, welcome. And CJ has got a question. Says, uh, "Have you ever made the origami coin purse?" The origami? Uh, no, I haven't. Um, nobody's asked me to make it. Uh, I do completely custom work, so everything I make is for customers. So, and Louis Smith is in as well. Hey, Louis. Oh, yeah, they, there they are. Yeah, Real Loco and Team Hard Life are the guys I'm doing the wallets for. There you go. So, all right. So, I guess we'll start bevelling on the shark. And let's see. Just get my starter or my end point. <laughs> oh, what did I get myself into? I mean, Jamie and I are both punch drunk right now. <laughs> 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 Dying Gold says, trouble. what's up, Jack? This shark looks nice. Yeah. Thanks, Cobra. <laughs> Sing it, Jamie. John Halliday <laughs> says, leather shark. Do, 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 leather shark. Do, 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 leather shark. <laughs> I, can see, I can just see Wayne the Wood turning out going, oh, no. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> well, God, now I can't even talk. <laughs> can't even watch it. Right, jacked up with Mountain Dew. <laughs>
James Paul says, what a crew. He knows, <laughs> he knows what's going on. <laughs> When you're tooling, if, if anybody out there does tool leather as a hobby or anything else, and they're just starting out, when you're tooling leather, um, you don't just when once you wet it, you don't just start tooling on it because the water will just pull pull on you, and you start pushing your leather, and it'll just it'll look slimy as if if you, if you do that. Um, you wait for it to get back to more of a natural color, which this is. And a good way to indication that you can tell that is, I don't know if you can pick it up, but the, the darker color here is actually a, what they call a burnish. And that's what it does. And if you got a, got the correct amount of dampness in your leather, then, you know, you're good to go if that's showing up. If not, it's... it's go ahead. Go on. I was just going to carry on and finish what you said, and I lost got fruits. That's all right. I think I just lost mine, too. <laughs> oh, right, okay. yeah. I, was, I was just going to ask is there such thing as putting too much water on leather um yes there is um you can actually ruin a good piece of leather by getting it too wet but at the same time depending on the, actually depending on the leather the herman oak that i use you can actually throw this in a sink full of water let it sit for about 10 minutes and pull it out, let it dry out and tool on it. So a lot of the stuff that the, the other veg, uh, veg tan leathers that are out there that come from, you know, other countries or overseas or anything. There's a lot of them. If you get them, if you actually soak them all the way, I've actually seen them just almost turn green. So it's, that's why I, I primarily just use Herman Oak leather. Uh, Anita Turler says, will you dye the leather or will you just leave it natural? Um, this is actually what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to be what they call it. Uh, I'm going to be aging it, really. Um, it's going to get a stain. or Once it dries out, I'll cover it with uh, olive oil. And once that dries for about, oh, at least 24 hours, and then it'll get uh, some tan, a, a tan coat on it, which is a protectant. And then I'll put the aging stuff on there, or the antique gel, and leave that on there. And what that antique gel does is it gets down inside the crevices in here, and it basically pops out all the lines and everything else that you carved while leaving the surface leather almost a natural color. So it it just basically outlines the work that you that that you've done on it. So, uh, Diane Gold says, "What is this project, Jack?" Um, this is actually um one of the items that I'm probably going to be auctioning off for uh, the ALS awareness um deal that I'm doing because I'm doing a uh, not a giveaway, but I'm doing a raffle. It's twenty dollars to get in, and whoever wins um, gets any wallet that I make, and all the all the proceeds go to uh, ALS uh, research. Nice. Um, Wayne Hillman was like to know where do you get all your supplies? Oh, oh God, everywhere. Um, it all just depends on who has the uh, the lower prices at the time when I need them. Uh, the Herman Oak, I primarily get from um, Aaron Heiser, which is uh, Maker's Leather Supply down there in Waco, Texas. Um, everything else is you know, Amazon. Uh, a lot of some of my tools actually got handed down to me from my great uncle. He used to uh, he used to carve leather back in the 60s and 70s and stuff. So a lot of these tools are almost 40, 50 years older than I am. So, but other than that, I just get them anywhere that has them or got them on sale or so I don't have one particular place to get them. So, Uh, 
Now on this one, I'm using a, a checkered beveler. It leaves just a little bit more of a, like that, sh it's got that real black, shiny, almost finish to it. And just gives it a little bit more texture. Um, I'm actually going to be putting in some, with the paint that I'm going to be using and some of the dyes, I'm actually going to put just a little bit of white and blue in here to actually make it look like it's underwater swimming around. Uh, Wayne Horn wants to know if you ever used Tandy leather. Um, I did when I first started out. Um, I actually got some tools. A lot of the, the craft tools that I have are from Tandy. Um, but as far as the leather, no, I don't use Tandy's. Um, it comes, a lot of it comes from Argentina. And the the leather is actually, has got a lot of bug bites and scars and stuff like that on it when it comes from the tannery. So um, it's okay on, if, you, if you're using it for like fillers or you're just practicing it's actually okay but the the herman oak leather just it tools a whole lot better um agk's got a question he would like to know what als is please oh god i forgot to <laughs> roger if you're on here <laughs> als oh geez i had it right here in my notebook too that way if anybody did have any questions on it uh, you've made you made me an admin, didn't you? It's on YouTube, I'll grab a link. All right, thank you. There sir. you go. Yeah. Andrew, do you remember a, a while ago when people were putting ice water over their body, like tipping buckets of ice water? Is that ice water challenge. It was a ice, yeah, ice bucket challenge. That was for the ALS. Yeah, thanks, Bayless. Okay, I'm going to put a link at the Wikipedia link into the, the, the chat so you can have a look, Andrew. It's like a, a crippling disease, um, yeah. Andrew. Uh, Diane Gold says, Jack, did you get your cash app fixed? No, I still have not figured that out, Hoss. Um, I don't know what the heck is going on with it, but uh, I'm going to be, I got to get a hold of actually Cash App and send them some screenshots that I have. So, um, as far as that goes, it's still down, um, which is weird because Joey donated to it and I got his and I forgot somebody else's. But uh, the other people that have actually gone on there, it hasn't come through or anything. So I don't know what the deal is. I just figured it's because of stupid technology. <laughs> so. It's kind of funny, really, because most of the world's problems is caused by smart people. <laughs> And there was a movie of Beautiful Mind. I had a, a, a sister-in-law said, that movie's stupid. I don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, CJ would like to know: do, uh, ever do pen cases or sleeves? Um, as far as the pens, I'm actually going to be start doing that. Um, once I start getting the stuff to actually start turning pens, because I'm gonna I'm gonna make the pens myself and sell them with the leather uh, sleeves on them. 
So it's all one big bundle. Nice. So. Nice. So. Yeah, this is the only bad thing about leather when you're doing leather craft is half the time it's uh hurry up and wait. You seem like you're having fun whacking it. <laughs> oh, damn. Hitting it. Sorry. I will kill you. <laughs> wow. Translation problem there. Translation problem. Hey. Yeah. They say whacking a lot, man. We just, you know. <laughs> In the UK, we used to have a TV show called Whack-A-Day. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Was it a TV show, Jamie? Was it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got to ask you something, Jamie. Uh, that show <laughs> that was on there, uh, I don't know what channel it was. It was over in your side of the pond. Uh, it was called Mrs. Brown's Boys. Yes, the Irish oh. guy. Oh my! Brendan, no, uh, Brendan O'Carroll. I think his name is. Yeah, something like that. Oh my god! I wish they would. I wish they had that here because holy crap! I I've been watching all the damn clips on it on YouTube and. Yeah, really funny. A lot, a lot of that TV show is uh, ad lib, and that's the, oh, every really? person on every person on that show is his family. Oh wow. <clears throat> That is actually oh, yeah, pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I'll be damned. So, Jacob, where can your products be found or where can people order stuff uh, from you? Um, I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Um, it's under it's under Jacked Up Leatherworks on Facebook and, and Instagram. Um, I don't have a website. Um. I did at first when I first started, but uh, what I think I did is I probably jumped the gun on it a little too early, and because it just it didn't make any didn't bring in any traffic or anything. So, uh, Wayne Hillman says I've been tooling leather on and off since the sixties. I have a ton of stamps from my dad and some more recent by me. Nice. Barney says, uh, I'm hammering along with you. My cube organizer came with a free mallet. That's support right there. Hell yeah. Commitment. Mm -hmm. And this one, actually, I actually had this one custom made for me. Um, it is actually made by Bear Malls. And it's a custom one. It's, it's, tw it's 22 ounces. It's probably a little bit heavier than a lot of people are used to. But uh, I forget what he made the, the head out of, but the handle is actually uh, Japanese uh, ironwood. John McDonald says he says he has every episode. Uh, I had to order a DVD player from the UK to watch them. You should, you should have got it all on digital. Really? Hmm. Uh, Heidi says she 3D printed uh, stamps for Ben when he was leather working. Mm -hmm. I've seen actually a lot of guys starting to do that. I'm kind of old school. I still like the old stainless steel stamps. Could you not um, kind of 3D print your own designs and then, I know it'd be a long process, 3D print it and then kind of cast your own? Um, You probably could, but as far as getting it on the leather, it probably wouldn't hold up very well. Yeah, I guess if maybe a one one off use, a bit yeah, of a, a process for that. Yeah. 
Um, I like <laughs> I've I have no idea. I've never I've never had a three D printer. I wouldn't even know how to use one. So. Heidi says it works well if you have to do a bunch of different pieces. Mm. A bunch of pieces. Hmm. Might actually have to look into that. AGK says, Mr. Browns, Browns, boys is the bomb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so the, the, the lady in the uh, in Mrs. Browns, boys that plays his daughter in real life is actually his wife. Oh, wow. And the, the other old lady that goes to visit is actually his sister in real life. <laughs> is that still on the air or is it... Uh... I, you know what? I don't know. I, I haven't seen it. Ever. They bought out the movie and it kind of faded off, I think. Oh, that's a bummer. Heidi says she bought a 3D printer for her clay work. Yeah, if anyone is interested in a 3D printer, Joey's, uh, Joey's got a link in his, uh, uh, on, his, his on his link tree. Uh, I'm not sure if they're still doing the uh, the deal at buy one, get one free. Mm -hmm. but, uh, Joey's got a lot of 3D printers when they did have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I looked, yeah, I looked the other day and they were still doing that deal. I think they were like they were like half price, and then it was still buy one get one free. Wow. Charles C says, "Can you do a reddish wallet?" A reddish wallet? Yeah. <laughs> I could get it dyed, or I could actually get uh, leather that's already red. I've never seen a red cow. <laughs> they just die. Well, actually, if, if you look at it, you got Herefords that are red. And they're out in the sun too long. <laughs> Herford. Herford's like the next town over from oh, Amarillo. Smells like money over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what they say. So Joey says, as long as the infill uh, is solid... It should last. You're not putting a ton of pressure. Uh, once the lever is moist, uh, they are pretty stout if 3D printed correctly. There you go. Yeah. Man that knows. There you have it. <laughs> I'm actually, actually starting to... Uh probably going to be start making um leather holsters here pretty soon hmm. for nice. pistols i'm actually going to be as soon as i get my uh llc i'm actually going to start doing it um just so that way i'm protected from stupid people we call them she wees in the uk <laughs> not allowed to talk about that sort of stuff on YouTube. So I to kind of deter it a little bit. <laughs> Just tell them, go ahead and keep whacking. Yeah, hey, Joey says the buy one, get one free is still on the table. Mm hmm. CJ wants to know how long it, did it take me to take the Illumilite out of the pots today? Two hours. Two to two to four hours. If it's the bigger pours, like the things that we do on the show, it's two hours. Dang. Mm hmm. I guess I'm going to have to get used to that. Says, uh, Tom McDonald says, say that again, Jamie. I will not bow to your peer pressure. How about no? How about no? <laughs> <laughs> this is actually the first time I ever tooled live. <laughs> 
Uh, Wayne just did a Jamie in the chat. Uh-oh. <laughs> he, said, he said, CJ, I got a free preview before my life. <laughs> I do. People that don't know, every after every Saturday morning cartoons, a couple hours later, I uh, we're on a we're on a hangout getting ready for Wayne's show, so I I demold them, and uh, Wayne gets to see that every Saturday. Mm. <laughs> Jake just likes to hear Wayne goes mint mint. <laughs> He said something else the last couple times. Is that's smart? That's smart. <laughs> Diane Golden said you should whack it live more often. Well, <laughs> do it when you can. Yeah. Especially on your own. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds all right when I say it, doesn't it? <laughs> Sounds polite. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> yeah, he like, says, wow, joined late. Interesting conversation. <laughs> what was the movie? He's like, hey, what's a lot? You know, you have five minutes alone to go over there, whack it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> you have eighteen minutes you have eight minute eighteen minutes left of us. We usually yeah. say eighteen minutes left to go. Eighteen, 18 minutes. minutes left to go. Yeah. <laughs> In an eternity. <laughs> You could always put the mallet in the other hand to make it feel like somebody else is doing it. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, yeah. you like me, you, like me, you can't even stir left-handed. <laughs> oh, well, let's see. Um, yeah, oh. don't work that way. <laughs> uh... <laughs> And it's, you know, I know this is probably boring for a lot of people, but uh, this is what I call my sanctuary. Uh, CJ says, uh, come and visit Jake and Jamie uh, every Saturday, and it's uh, even worse. Well, you'd have to Thank stay. I think he means even better. Yeah. Some wording there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jay Wiz Happy Music says, uh, question, question, question. Uh, how long on average to finish a project like this? Uh, something like this. Um, All together with the drying time would take about three to four days that I would do. Because I let, I let things dry overnight. I don't like to rush anything. So the time eh, for me is at minimum three to four days so i think that's a common theme when uh when we listen to joey talk about the same kind of stuff he's like don't shortcut it don't get in a rush yeah you gotta mm -hmm. let things dry oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's, and you just like with your guys with the wood turning and everything else you know you can cover up a mistake and you're just making things a little smaller <laughs> but with with leather, it's a little more forgiving. We could always just carve something else that just didn't right in there just to kind of cover up a mistake, and it looks all right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, AGK says, sorry, Jacob, we slash they mean well. <laughs> <laughs> C. Bailey says, uh, with this Brit speaking, it's been a new Benny Hill show here. <laughs> Not a bad that's not a bad thing. No, we should take we should take this video and speed it up and like da 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 da. Hey, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> uh, don't try me. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> uh, James Fuller says Patreon is the first Saturday and Sunday of the month. Mm -hmm. Sure is. <laughs> Diane Gold would like to know what's the shark's name. 
Mm. Uh, well, this is for Sandy Garza, so we're gonna call her Sandy. There you go, Sandy there Shaw. Go. Sing it, Jamie. Sing it. <laughs> Sandy, Sandy Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> Jefferson has got to start practicing the sex. <laughs> so, it's pretty much about all I could do. If if I wet it down a little more, it'd take about oh fifteen minutes to return to its normal color. So, that right there is about all we could do for for this one. So, right. if any, I'm going to be I'm going to try to be putting out more. YouTube videos on how to's and stuff like that. Hopefully here pretty soon. Um, it's just, I'm learning all this editing stuff. So it's taken me forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but all right, well, that's, uh, that's about all I got. Uh, this will actually give somebody or people a break to go to the bathroom if they want to. So especially Jake, go all get right. a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we got we got it covered, man. The girls the girls took care of me. Awesome. Doing good. Awesome. Well, definitely thank you guys for having me on here and being a part of this. It was a lot of fun. Oh, you're welcome. So got one under your under your belt, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll we'll get you back next time if you want if you're up for it. Sure. Yeah, I'm down for any time. So yep. definitely. So all right, guys. Well, you guys have a good right. one. And uh, who's gonna, up next? I'm going to quickly post a link into the chat. It, Joey from Stillblade Woodworks is up next. All right. You guys make sure you guys go check out Joey. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> yeah. That'll do, one. Jim. That'll do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bonnie. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, guys. You guys have a good one. All right. Oh, I'll be good. Okay. Take it easy, everybody. Yep.